Hello, people of the internet. It's been a while. I've been off at college doing stuff, engineering stuff, uh, military school stuff. It's a lot of stuff. But if you've noticed there's probably been a little bit of a lull. There has been a lull in how many videos I've put out in the past couple months. Uh, since November specifically, I'm going to pick it right back up again in the summer as I did last year. But I just wanted to, uh, I came across something I thought was pretty interesting in my studies in college. Uh, I thought y'all might be interested in it. Uh, it has to do with firearms. Perfect. Uh, but a couple of quick notes before we go anywhere. Uh, thank you for uh, subscribers. I'm at 300 subscribers. That's really cool to me. The percentage of my view time that's by my subscribers has increased as well, which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, but anyways, yeah, let's get to this. Uh, I want to show you how to do something really quick. No, oh, it's, yeah, it's kind of quick. It's really easy. I think anyone with a high school degree can understand. So we're going to take, so we have normal ammo, right? Pretty cool stuff. I love that stuff. And we're going to calculate the uh, foot-pounds of energy. And then we're also going to calculate how much it would change the temperature of something. That sounds kind of complicated, but it's just some really cool, easy, literally takes two equations. It's technically thermodynamic. It's one of the equations. But once again, I'm going to explain it in such a way that I think anyone with a high school degree can understand. So, first of all, on the box, it says... Well, actually, first of all, on the box, it literally tells you the foot-pounds of energy, so we can just skip to that part, but let's say a box didn't have that. All right. Well, what's the weight? It's 150 gram, which, when converted to uh, pounds, is 0 0.02. Basically, I'm just getting the weight. It's really easy. Then we want the uh, velocity, which it puts us, it puts it on the box. Really cool, really easy. Now, we're going to make a couple of assumptions. Uh, first of all, uh, to kind of like give you an understanding of how we're going to do this, we're gonna like, say we have a bucket of water. We're gonna shoot directly like point blank into this bucket of water. Well, let's say that, that water stops the bullet, right? assumptions. This makes it so we can actually calculate it. And it's just an easier way to think about how this equation works. Uh, we're also going to make a couple other assumptions that basically mean things that would be a pain equal zero. And I like it when pain goes away. So, constant temperature. Not entirely. Uh, we won't have constant temperature after the bullet is in the water. But let's just say that the bullet has the same temperature as the water. When it's be right before it enters the water. No potential energy. Uh, like, we're just not going to take it into, ground, into account. And then no heat transfer because... Honestly... Having the heat leave the bucket, that kind of like takes away from this. And that's not what we're trying to calculate. So even with all these assumptions that I just made, uh, we still get an answer that is literally 4.8 foot-pounds off of what it says on the box, which is really cool to me. <clears throat> so, we have all this stuff. It, let's just cover up this. This is what we have. This is what we're going to use for the equation. We have the mass, the actual weight, and we have the velocity of the bullet. Very simple. Well, what can we calculate with that? Well, we want energy. How much energy is this thing punching? Like, how much energy is this thing throwing? Come on. That's what we're calculating here. So, kinetic energy, literally a physics formula. You don't have to understand the formula, it's just there. I don't like that. Just trust me when this is a negative. Basically mass, we're just plugging that into here. 
I'm plugging that into there, and we're going to get negative 73.829.6 lbm uh, pounds foot squared over seconds squared. That sounds complicated. It sounds really complicated, and I don't think y'all like that at all. But let me explain it real quick. That just means that we're losing energy from the bullet because the bullet stops. So losing energy, that's all the negative means. And then that's just a bunch of stuff that we're going to take away and change into something else with another equation. Now, hold on here. This, is, this sounds complicated. I'm about to make it really simple. But first we need to make it a hair bit more complicated. So this is the thermodynamics equation I was telling you about, but because of the assumptions that we made, this is zero, this is zero, and this is zero. Which makes your life and my life a hundred times easier. Because I don't have to worry about uh, the heat transfer, I don't have to worry about the work, and I don't have to worry about the potential energy. Boom. Life is good. Now, that means that delta U, which is just total internal energy, that's what that stands for, is equal to negative KE. That gets rid of that negative sign for us, which is really nice. Because now this is in terms of, sorry, that's, that should be a comma. Because <clears throat> now that's in terms of energy that the water, or the substance that we're putting it into, the substance that we're applying the bullet to. Now we have the force applied. Okay? That's pretty cool. But it still has nasty units. And no one likes that. So we pull a little trick out of my back pocket. I pull a little trick out of my back pocket. And that is just a conversion factor. Y'all don't really have to understand the conversion factor. It's just pretty nice. If you're an engineer, you probably make sense though. You've probably seen it. That looks complicated, but all it does is it basically says, okay, no more feet there. So that's not squared. Feet is no longer squared. Boom. No more seconds. Boom. And then LBM is gone. No more pounds mass. Now all we have is foot pounds. That's what we want. Internal energy, or the energy that the uh, bullet applies to whatever you're throwing it at, <laughs> throwing it at, uh, is equal to 2,292.8 foot pounds. Let me go over that one more time. Because that's probably the stuff that most people care about. Step one, pull out information. M equals dot dot dot. V equals dot dot dot. And then you solve for kinetic energy. KE equal to one half mass times velocity squared is coming, going to come out to a negative number equals negative dot dot dot. Oh. Now, to find that, to uh, find what you're looking for, you're going to take delta u, that's what you're solving for, as weird as that may sound if you're not used to thermodynamics, equal to negative k, e, essentially getting rid of that negative, equals dot 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 which is just that, but positive. And then what you want to do is you want to take that. You got some nasty units in there. What was the units? Yeah. And then you want to multiply that times <clears throat> dot 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 times 1 over 
32.2. That will get rid of your nasty units and that will wind up with delta U, or what you're looking for, is equal to foot pounds. That's the steps to uh, find the foot pounds that your bullet puts onto the target from point blank range. If this is not from point blank range, all you gotta do is change the velocity, which is super easy. Except you probably don't have the velocity on hand, unless you have normal ammo, which is it. Does Norma have, does Norma have the uh, velocity at different distances? I don't quite remember. I don't have the box on me. But some do. Uh, if not, you can just plug it into another calculator if there's calculators online that do this for you. So anyways, to do this, I just thought it was pretty interesting. Anyways, hope you all have a good day. I hope you all understood half of what I said. Specifically this half. Because that was the half that I was expecting people to understand. And bye.